Hello, if you own a carbon fiber bike like I do, and you have a seized seat post, you know how frustrating these things are to get out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I got mine out using this homemade jig that I built. It worked really well, it didn't hurt the bike, and it didn't hurt the seat post. So if you have this problem, you've probably seen online that there's basically three bodies of thought about this. Number one, you can use penetrating oil, but for carbon fiber, that's not good for the carbon fiber, so don't do that. Number two, you use something cold, like a cold press, like some kind of medical wrap or liquid nitrogen or dry ice. And let's be honest, that's not going to um, do anything to the carbon fiber to cause it to contract or expand. It doesn't really have any thermal expansion properties. But what some people say is that the sweating is going to lubricate things and allow you to pull it out. I'll be honest, my seat post had a ton of dirt in it. That wasn't gonna do anything. And number three is probably the best, but also the worst option, where you just saw the top of the seat post off and then make a bunch of cuts and basically um, just rip this thing out. That's a destructive method. But my seat post was in there pretty deep, so I'm not even sure that the destructive method would have actually worked. I, I would have really had to get some tools in there. So those are your three options, and I thought they sucked, so I kept looking, and I saw some, some seat post pullers online, and basically how those ones worked is they would drill holes into the seat post, and then a pipe would go all the way down through the crank, and then using some threading, they would pull the two apart, and I thought, wow, that's good because it adds some mechanical advantage, but with carbon fiber, I also read you don't want to quite do it that way because um, with two pieces of carbon fiber, if they're stuck and you pull them apart, it's like a Chinese finger lock. The more you pull, the tighter it's going to get because the carbon fiber does actually stretch a bit. So what was suggested online was to create a vise that's very similar, but actually pushes on the bike part and then pulls on the seat post part. I'm very fortunate with this Pinarello post that it already has a hole. So I could use this to receive the upwards force. I just needed something that could kind of sit on this part of the bike and act as the downward pushing part. So you're basically undoing the Chinese finger lock with this way. So what I came up with was this little V. Now my seat post, it's not round, also adding, you know, you can't put pipe wrench on it and twist it or anything, but you can see this V, it's 38 degrees for my model. I just used a little angle finder to find it out. 38 degrees fits perfectly there. And this sits perfectly on the part of the bike frame I need to push against. So it'll actually rest right up there. So the way my jig works, very simple, almost crude, but you have, um, you have this mechanism here. And then this is the final part of it. Um, this all thread goes through this um, hole at the top. And then I don't know if you can see this, but there's a few different holes, but basically you need to get these vertical pieces of all thread through these holes. And once everything's mounted in place, you can undo one of these bolts to spread the mechanism apart. So I'll just show that now in video so you can see how it works. And it works, it takes a while, but it works, nothing's damaged. A couple of little scratches on here, um, but yeah, I'm very happy. This, on, on my bike, this Pinarello, this is a $450 seat post. So if you can build one of these, you're going to save a lot of money, and best of all, you're not going to damage your bike. So I hope my guide is helpful. Let's see how it works.
after over an hour, I got the seat post out. The seat post is undamaged. The frame is undamaged. And this jig, although it looks crude, worked really well and it did what other bike shops were unable to do. I mean, no discredit to them. This is really hard, but good luck. I hope this helps some people. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank <laughs> you.